Hello Community, UN 2.5 Plus. But you know what? We have now a maximum model. So let's go with a brand new model, QN 2.5 Max. And it's our good old here logical test here. This is my extreme test that I developed here for Strawberry for OpenAI 01. It is absolutely the same test. You can find it in all of my other videos here, for example, here for Guac 2, Gemini or Llama or Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And now we do this, we run this here on QN 2.5 Max. And we are alive. You can see this is here real speed. I, we just want to have a look what is happening, how good is this new model and what can the Max model now perform. As you see, we are here in this logic test and the system is trying to figure out here what belongs to what person, what item belongs to what person. It is a simple matrix, so nothing special. Ah, and we already have, as you can see here, the final table. Okay, artifact field of magic familiar. Beautiful completed association. Oh, and the final answer is this, the matrix that we just saw. Which is great, but you know, Looking at this, I would say, hmm, can you verify that this is indeed the correct solution? Because I have my doubts. It says, yes, of course, absolutely, let's verify this. So it says, okay, this is our table, we have to verify. And we have 15 clues. So let's start clue one, clue two, clue three, clue four. Yes, it's nice with a green check mark, beautiful. Clue six, clue seven, and then clue eight. Now that's happening something. You see? corrected below we get something that is wrong and it just stops and i said hey there are 15 clues and q1 2.5 max is sinking and said yeah you're absolutely right there are 15 clues i carefully now cross check each clue against the final table so we start again so interesting when it discovered here an error it just stopped here in the processing of the data so we are back at clue 3, clue 4, clue 5, clue 6, clue 7, and now at clue 8, you remember? Clue 8, there was something. This is... No, this is not okay. This is... What is it? We stopped here again. This is an error. Oh yeah, resolving the error. We're just exchanging this? What? So re-verification of all clues. Now we start with clue 8 again. All other clues remain satisfied. Oh, I don't think so. So I say, please verify now your verified solution. Make sure to examine each and every clue because what's happening there, I don't think that this is the right solution. So QN 2.5 Max says, okay, I'm thinking, beautiful. This is just great. This is exactly what we want. And it is still thinking, okay. Thank you for your patience. I will now thoroughly verify the correct solution against all 15 clues. Beautiful. So this is the correct table where I do have my doubt that this is correct. So we start again. Clue 1, clue 2, clue 3. Yes, kind of. Okay, we have, we're just waiting here. Okay, I understand the server in China might be busy right now. You see, there was another red cross saying, hey, this is wrong. So re-verification clue five clue one clue two clue three we're starting it all over again clue four five clue six clue seven I'm gonna watch out for clue eight this is another star star <clears throat> another error <clears throat> so we are still having an error here resolving now the second error let's swap just two fields you just cannot swap two fields in a matrix that is a logical test so, okay, and final verification, we do again, clue one, clue two, clue three, clue four. And I guess you have a feeling what's going to come. Clue seven, yeah, now clue eight, and no, no, not valid. But it gives me the answer, hey, this is the final answer. Hmm. Okay, you know, I do another test. I do here the elevator test you see from other videos. You're trapped in a skyscraper and you want to reach floor 13 and you have five buttons to press and each little button has a different function. So find here the optimum way to reach floor 13. Step one, step two, step three, plan the optimal path, beautiful. And then we go in a step-by-step -step solution. So we start at floor zero, 
floor 3, floor 7, okay, then we press button E, for example, okay, floor 12, floor 15. So you see we are jumping up and down, we are pressing here all the buttons, just like the way we feel. Okay, there's a trap floor, yes, I know. Floor 12, floor 15. So it is trying to find a solution. It goes step by step and tries to find a solution. Okay, step 20, and now I accelerate 600%. Because I want to show you, we go now to 100, step 100. Because it would be a little bit boring. I had to wait for this in real time. But this is now an acceleration. Till we reach step 99. 80. 85, 87, 90, 96, 99. Here we are. So, here we are. Conclusion. <laughs> okay, now Q1 2.5 Max comes back and says, Hey, conclusion. The problem involves an infinite loop due to the trap floor and the rules that is impossible to reach floor 13. Therefore, the final answer is impossible to reach floor 13. This is wrong. And I say, explain this. So it's nice that we have this function. Let's say a key observation leading to this conclusion. Yes, there's a create a loop. Yeah, I know there's a trap floor. But you know the solution is to not go to the trap floor. No escape from the loop. This is not correct. Why is it impossible? Creates an infinite loop. Yeah, only if you hit one of those floors. What would make it possible? This is interesting. Add new buttons. <laughs> okay, final explanation. It is simply impossible to reach floor 13. This is not correct. There are just six steps and we can go to floor 13. So it failed. And then I saw, hey, there's a plus model. So maybe I chosen the wrong model, you know? I thought, okay, listen, if the plus model is here for maybe maybe for logic. So let's do the same test again with the plus model. Because maybe the max model is more for language, I don't know, not for reasoning. So we are here with the plus model, same test, okay, we're waiting for the model, uh, here we go. Now you see Q1 2.5 plus, it is syncing beautifully. So for the mystery of the seven artifacts, yes, here we organize our clues. Yes, we still have our 15 clues. This is real time. Europe to China and back. Yes, clue number 10 is coming up. Here we are. Clue number 12, 13, 14, 15. This is it. Create now the tables. Beautiful. So this is our matrix that we want to generate here. Ah, we also have the first data coming in. This is nice. This looks good. Maybe plus is the way to go. Maybe max is not really for my kind of problem. And please notice this is only for my kind of test. This is not a general statement. This is just specific to my kind of work. I do work in science. I want to have causal reasoning here a model that is able to do causal reasoning and not about poems or anything else. Final answer. We have a final answer. And hmm, this is no. <laughs> okay. Well, no. Now if I look at this, is there is something. I say, hey, can you verify this result with each and every clue given? And Q1 2.5 plus comes back and says, yeah, look, Clue one. I've just put it there in green. So you remember this is here, the first clue. We will use this clue one in about 20 seconds. I will show it to you, to you again. No worry. No problem at all. Everything is going to be perfect. So you see, he is going now here through the loop. Okay. Trying to figure out how to form here this logical matrix form. Yeah, we have to wait. Stop and go to China. Traffic jam. Okay. Nine. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Okay. We are still waiting. 
14 and one more and then we have it yes so we have our 15 glues so the final adjustments rechecking now the assignment this is nice and okay we have now this matrix of data and it says hey final verification check mark check mark check 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 hey everything is okay yes check check eight check nine ten check eleven eleven yeah everything we have wow final table matches all clues correctly this is the correct solution no just look at here the green one and verify this this is wrong but you know what we know and i love qwq32b so let's go there here we go and i say you know what we just paste here the same test into qwq32b our advanced reasoning model Let's see if this is the model to go with. Maybe this QN 2.5 max is not for my particular data, not for my particular task. You see here, we got now the reasoning explained here. Okay, yeah, these are the familiars, beautiful. These are the clues. Yeah, that looks good. Come on, just one minute left here in the video. So, yes, this looks good possible yeah we already at 600 percent accelerated as you can see on the cursor yes full speed ahead final answer here we are now the final answer okay this is a little bit of strange of a form but never mind we're looking for the content so this is a interesting matrix form maybe let's start here this looks good yeah Eldora looks good and Phelan looks good yep Galaria seems to be correct, but let's start at the beginning. So you see, yeah, beautiful. These are the headings. Great. So Avalon, correct. Brindor, correct. Celestia, correct. Dorn, correct. Yes. Daria, correct. Feyland, correct. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. So QWQ32B is my model I will use. See, if I say, hey, can you verify your solution given the 15 clues? I mean, I already know internally that it is correct, but I say, hey, just verify for me. Just want to see if the verification shows any errors or if the verification tells us this is it. Because then I have found my perfect model from QVAN and I know for my top, yeah, all clues are satisfied. Therefore, the solution is correct. So I now, just for my data, this is just my personal test here do your own test with your own kind of queries that you need but you can see qwq32b is still the llm for me if you want to do causal reasoning or logic or anything to do with science